Time to play with some clay. Well, I made a bunch of uh, ugly ass tools <laughs> with that uh, silicone. I actually cut uh, the old silicone off because it was softer than this stuff is. And uh, about three o'clock this morning, I'm making them when I, because uh, being an old guy, I don't always sleep all night. I sleep for a couple hours and I'm up and I just can't fight it. So I just go ahead and get up. So I made all these tools this morning, and uh, this one's probably the ugliest, but I think this one's going to be a good one. But look, look how bad that is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made that. Anyway, <laughs> oh, I was having fun though. All right, I hope you all had a good fourth. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video that I posted yesterday of uh, our little parade here and. Ennis, Montana, and uh, that was a fun day. Got to meet some great people. I'm going to try them out. It's like a small finger, extra finger, that you can actually control easier than your finger. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm just going to go over the clay real quick and uh, smooth those areas that need to be smoothed. And uh, get into areas that uh, need to get in, be got, gotten into. Well, that one's not going to last. <laughs> not much to do on this piece. It's, uh, it's pretty much done. I'm just basically hitting little areas that, uh, need to be hit. And, uh, not going to spend a lot of time today doing that because it's pretty well done. I don't think I'm going to record much of what I'm doing today only because uh, it's going to be boring as all get out. One thing I did notice, I made that valley there in the center of uh, the horse's head just a little deep. So I'm taking that down just a little bit. And now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do next. I got some ideas, but for now, I'll just have to think about it for a while. Do what moves me. I got this little crevice here that's created by the uh, hand joining under the uh, robe, and I just need to fill that in. That gives me an excuse to try my new tools.
Yeah, I have to redo that one because the wire is popping through right there. What I did is I took some wire tools that I had and just made tools, these tools, using the wire as an armature underneath the uh, material. It really does allow you to get into areas that you normally couldn't get through into to uh, smooth areas that need to be smoothed to take out blemishes that uh, developed during the time of sculpting. And that's the uh, reason for having a tool like this. All right, that's going to be it for today, and uh, I don't know when I'll be back. I've got to decide what to do next. I'm just I'm not sure exactly what to do. Um, I'm running out of space to store these things, too. I can't put them in my storage unit because there's no air conditioning there. And if I let these sit there in the summertime, it would be so hot in there, these would start melting and fall right off their armatures. I've had that happen in the back of a car once. Not a good experience. All right, everybody. Again, I hope you had a safe weekend yesterday, and uh, I look forward to my next project, whatever it may be, and I hope you are too. Good night, everybody. Give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.